Welcome back, guys, to Super Hostile Inferno Mines. So, we have just three wolves left to get for the Victory Monument. Those are the wolves located right, yeah, right, right there. Uh, but before we do that, I want to do some more base construction. I want to do a few more things to prepare. We finished off the, let me maneuver in reverse here. We finished off the Hunter Monument last video. And off camera, I fixed the uh, the creeper grinder. So I think at some point in this video, we'll probably go pay that thing a visit. I'll show you what I did to fix it. It was actually, it was fairly simple. What I did to uh, keep it from letting the creepers blow up. So I want to farm a bunch of TNT, do some base construction here, and then we're going to need sand uh, also for TNT. But first, let's do some base construction. So I've already done some work off camera. For some while, I've had this guy mostly built, which I just recently finished off the ends. I added a few more, three more chests here under the redstone lamps, and then capped the ends like that on either side. For a while, I was debating on whether or not I would just extend it outwards on either side to add more boxes, chests, whatever or if I would add a, sort of a secondary storage area for other types of, for blocks basically, because all of these are, for the most part, except for the wood, they're all items uh, that you use in the game, um, but not the blocks that you place. So all the blocks have been sitting here, extremely unorganized. I don't have a, a large amount of them because this isn't, you know, a typical Let's Play where I'm farming where I'm doing mining, like I haven't done any mining, for instance, you don't mine in Super Hostile, so I don't have a lot of cobblestone, for for example. But, uh, I do need an area to place these blocks, it's kind of disorganized, and I'm getting more and more as time goes on. So, I s constructed this right here. These guys are duplicates of this pedestal. They are inset two blocks. So the staircase for this guy starts right here. And these guys are two blocks in. And the staircase for this one is uh, two blocks in from this, which I'll talk about in a second. And here's a little guideline I set up. So I'm gonna build something quite similar to that. And it's just gonna be in an L shape. I'll probably never fill these. I'm, I'm gonna have more than I'll ever need, to be honest, which, which is fine. Uh, I kind of want it just for the looks. I made it that size because I thought proportionally it would fill out the area. It would sort of define a corner there with that wall. Kind of like, there's no corner there, but we've got a wall there and a wall there, and the Victory Monument there. So we're starting to just define walls very vaguely, but I thought it was important to do that. And I also, I, uh, I made a new staircase up to the farm area because these slabs, um, they didn't fit in with my building style I was using, and it was sort of indirect wasn't as quick, I wanted something more direct. So we've got this guy here. I still don't plan to use this area much, to be honest, because I don't need to. I found so much meat, and I find wood in those little uh, loot chests all the time. Uh, so I don't need it that much, but occasionally I do need some wood. So occasionally I do need to go up there. And let's see what else. Uh, I moved the bed. I don't have a, we'll probably do a bedroom type thing at some point. Let's see, what do we want to do first? Um, we're going to work on this guy. And it's going to be basically the same as that right there. And the flap of derp right there is going to have to be moved. So let's just, on camera, let's finish this corner here. And this is going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of chests. It's probably going to be about the same number as is over there. So that's way more than I'm ever going to need, which is fine. Um, and then I, th I think I want about a two block gap here between these two. So that means the cap for this thing would need to be there. You know, after looking at it, I kind of think the cap should be right here where this pedestal ends, just from uh, sort of a visual visual cues, visual ideas from looking at it. So let's do that. 
And let's uh, let's do the same over here. I can't put a torch down because it's a slab. We're gonna have to relocate the flap derp somewhere. We still need a bedroom. Like that? Yeah, okay, good. Lovely. But those are slabs, so nothing can spawn on them, so it's fine. And I can remove the guideline now. Don't need that. Uh, but before I get to work on this too much, because it's going to be mostly, it's going to be very similar to that, so it should go up fairly quickly. Uh, before we do that, I want to lay down a bunch of dirt. And I do have room in my inventory, so let's make some room like so. Let's put the shovel I just made on the on the menu bar. Quick select, whatever. I went to uh, Mellow Cavern, and I dug up all the dirt in that little area you uh, laddered down to. Uh, it was actually, it was uh, mycelium, but I dug it up with a shovel, and it turned into dirt. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bunch of dirt here around the edge to connect to the grass so that we have some grass growing. It turns into a nice, uh, more of a lively feel around this this brick um, crafting area, whatever, crafting and storage area. And I'm going to give credit where it's due. I'm taking this idea directly from Amlup, from Amlup's uh, Let's Play of this map, Inferno Mines. I saw him decorating his uh, living area, and he started. He put vines and trees all over the place. He turned it into like a jungle environment, which I thought was pretty neat. And so I'm just gonna give credit where it's due. I'm stealing the idea from Amblep. <laughs> and if you haven't, uh, if you haven't checked out his Let's Play of Inferno Mines, I I recommend it. There's there's like a uh, a continuum or a maybe not a continuum, but like a um a sliding scale of play styles and at one end is me and at the other end is Joe Hills and in between me and Joe Hills is Amlup and Vex <laughs> so he's he's much more um, aggressive in combat than me not quite as aggressive as Joe Hills but he's more aggressive than uh, Vex so it's like Joe Hills then Amlup then Vex then me uh, but anyway I'm gonna spread a bunch of dirt Get some grass growing, and then I guess we'll uh, continue on. Okay, the grass is spreading nicely. I ran out of dirt. That's all my dirt. All the dirt I got from, uh, what's it called, Mellow Cavern, and I also took all the dirt up there that I could spare that wasn't actively being used. I wanted it to wrap all the way around to this side, and maybe even over to here. Definitely, I wanted it to wrap around here so that it's sort of bracketing everything I've built. Um, I'm going to have to go look for more. I'm pretty sure I can get some more from Lush Ruins. That's just I'm going to have to take it that trip another time because it takes a while to get over there. Actually, it wouldn't take long because of the uh, teleporters downstairs. Anyway, um, so that's the grass is growing. That's the important bit. So while that's growing, let's continue work on these guys over here. This is gonna be way more chests, way more storage I'm ever gonna need. It's gonna be a little silly. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not afraid of silly. Silly does not intimidate me. Let's get some lighting going. On these corners, let's see. Uh, one, two, three. So the fourth block should be these guys. For those, we'll just do like that in the corner. Like that, and um, hmm. how did I do these on the end? On the end, on these guys, uh, this is a six wide, col six column wide, uh, so, blah, blah, blah. there's six columns of, of chest, that's what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna have one, two, three, and then the fourth one here will be you. Like so. Okay. Once I get the lamp set up, we'll finish the shell. And then we will put in all the rest of the boxes. Okay, one, two, three, four. Like so. And then on top and overhanging our slabs. 
like that. Can I reach from here? Yep. And I'm gonna need to make a few more, oh, a few more slabs. Don't know why that surprised me. It shouldn't surprise me at this point. So once we've built this guy and the grass has grown, I'm probably gonna plant some trees, organize all the blocks uh, into, I'll probably do columns of block types. So I'll have a column of stone, a column of sandstone, a column of bricky type things, and I'm out, I'm fresh out. Column of bricky type things, uh, etc., etc. There we go. And running low on bricks, that is for sure. And I, I almost certainly will never run out of storage here, which is, I guess that's okay. That's okay. It's okay that I didn't plan exactly for the amount I'm going to need, because who knows how many I'm going to end up with. And a lot of my blast-resistant bricks get used to try to conquer areas almost as soon as I get them. So they're always at a premium. I've been trying to save the actual stone bricks for uh, building here, because those are the ones I like to use for here. Let's see, that is a trap chest. Like so. Like so. I'm probably going to have to make some more of these. I probably don't have enough. Um, well, well, we'll see. We'll find out. That's no problem whatsoever. I've got plenty of wood and plenty of metal to make more trap doors or trap chests. So I'm going to finish this up off camera. And then we'll do the last little bits when uh, when I get to that point. All right, that is all done. And see how uh, what I was talking about, it's starting to form sort of a wall, if you will, uh, defining the edges of this crafting area. And the Victory Monument here defines this edge. I think we may need something right there to sort of uh, define it more. Let's take a look at it from another side, actually. And just for a second, let's get up. Let's get on top of this guy. So we can see it from this angle. Yeah, I think uh, we may need something over there. Maybe the bedroom once I eventually make that. But it's starting to look pretty nice. So last thing I want to do before we move over to the creeper spawner or the creeper grinder is I want to put down some trees and uh, bone meal them up to life. Actually, let me, yeah, that's fine, where it is. Um, after we do that, we'll head to the creeper grinder. And I also want to probably add some ground clutter. I may thin it out, I may not. So I'm just going to put a few of these guys here and there. Like so. And then we'll put some spruce, spruce trees in. Like that. Okay. It'd be nice to get one big tree, maybe back here. Come on, big money. Nope, that's not the right one. How's that look? I don't want it to be too dense. I don't want it to be like a jungle or anything. I just want it to be lightly wooded. Pow, okay. And then maybe we'll have one right here. Like that. Just about, that. that's about the, what are you doing here? That must be where the old staircase was. Um, let's have one right, right there. Maybe, maybe not. How about here? Can we go there? Maybe not because of that. There's a whole stack of bone meal. Thanks for that bone meal change, dinner bun, bunny, dinner bunny, dinner bony. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just being sarcastic. Calm down. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just add some uh, ground clutter. Get some, fl oh, it only does that on grass, huh? Okay, well, that's fine. Um, get some ground clutter, some, some of these weedy things, and some flowers here and there. 
Should look nice. And I guess we'll be done with this area for a little bit. I, st I still have a, a few things I'd... Yep, it doesn't work on the dirt. So I'll have to finish that later. A few things I'd like to do. Still need a proper bedroom. I mean, all I've had is this... Uh, this bed sitting here like this. I don't even know if I've set my spawn here, so let's do that. I, I don't remember if I did that since I moved the bed. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. Adds a little bit of uh, vitality to the area. Let's grab a record and play it while we look around. Yeah, I would definitely like it to extend over to here. I'd like to have some trees in the background here. I'm going to need to get more dirt for that. We're going to have to do that another time. I'll, I'm going to come back here every several episodes to finish, uh, to keep working on it. Okay, so I guess that's it for the construction. Will you be able to hear the music if I go all the way over here to my boxes? It's going to fade, isn't it? Oh, you can still hear it. Good, I was kind of worried about that. I made another one right there. It is a little bit quieter. Oh, well. Um, but I think we're ready to head over to the creeper spawner and let me show you what I did there. We're only using half of the storage. Not even half of the storage. Uh, One-fifth of half of the storage. So, uh, what's that, 10%? We've got some bricks, we've got stone and cobble, we've got uh, clay bricks, we've got nether stuff, we've got quartz, sandstone, I actually have two boxes of sandstone, we've got soil types, I'm out of dirt obviously so there's just gravel there, glass, and miscellaneous stuff. So let's, uh, let's go take a look at the creeper spawner already. Okay back to the creeper grinder, so here is the change I made, it was Fairly simple. Let's get that zombie downstairs. Okay, so the change I made was that I raised my little observation platform here by several blocks. I think it went... It was, I think, at this level or one block lower. So now we're about three blocks higher. The problem that was happening is that, one, uh, they were too close to me. So once they get to this ledge, they would start to hiss. And um, they were jumping up the blocks as other creepers were. Oh, I got to turn the thing on. That's <laughs> whoops. Uh, they were climbing up the blocks as other creepers were providing a little stair step there. I would have provided a, a higher drop there if there wasn't a bedrock floor below. I guess I could have put it one block higher. We've got uh, a little space there that nobody can walk under anyway. So I could have done that, but... Um, so that was one problem, that they were climbing up the blocks. The other problem was that once they were about here, they could still see me. So they were trying to path up the blocks to me. Now, they can see me when they're dropping onto this floor. And so they path towards me and jump off this little two block gap and get pushed down below. But once they're beneath this line of sight edge right here, they can't see them anymore, so they're not trying to climb up as aggressively. So they, they just uh, hang out down there like tame little cattle. And then they get to squeeze, they get to squeeze. And even if these guys way down there can see me through these iron bars, they're too far away for their fuse to start up. So this is quite reliable at this point. And the only thing I will do to farm it is close that off so that nothing pass through paths uh, through there. And I'll just do that as well, just in case. And I've uh, I also off camera I went around and I destroyed most of the blaze and witch spawners that are just kind of hanging out in this general vicinity. So I'm not worried about those things. But I'm going to be farming up some gunpowder. And I guess we'll... I'm going to head back to Emanate a Cavern at some point to get a bunch more sand. I think that is probably still the best place for me to find sand that I can think of. Next time, 
we will start the final three areas of this map looking for the final three pieces of wool. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye bye. We give it a squeeze. Yes. Yes.